Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Let's talk about the power of belief. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. I love this quote. Your reality is a reflection of your strongest belief. That just tells us that whatever it is that we believe in the most, that's the reality that we create for ourselves. And it's important to remember that our beliefs are what guide our thoughts, our feelings, our actions, and our results. Our perspective of the world is always open to interpretation. As we define the world, we determine our experience of it. Questioning beliefs is a very uncomfortable process for three reasons. First, beliefs are hard to recognize because we've thought them so often, they just feel like they're true. The second reason is that questioning beliefs we share with other people in our tribe creates a very isolating experience. And the third reason is when you question your beliefs, you have to be willing to have been wrong. And that does not feel good at all. Byron Katie, the author of Loving What Is, Four Questions That Can Change Your Life, has said this, often beneath the judgments we've written lie other thoughts. These may be thoughts that we've believed for years and that we use as our fundamental judgments of life. In most cases, we haven't ever questioned them. I call these thoughts underlying beliefs. These beliefs are broader or more general versions of our stories. Some underlying beliefs may expand a judgment of an individual to include an entire group of people. Some are judgments about life that may not sound like judgments at all. But if you notice that you feel stress when you become aware of these beliefs, they may be worth investigating. In the I Ching we see, it is true that we are in charge of our imaginations. And by using them to imagine wonderful futures for ourselves, and by acting on that basis, it will follow unerringly that for us, it will be so. Eckhart Tolle said, The primary cause of unhappiness is never the situation, but thoughts about it. Be aware of the thoughts you are thinking. Separate them from the situation, which is always neutral. It is as it is. Mahatma Gandhi said, If I have the belief that I can do it, I shall surely acquire the capacity to do it, even if I may not have it at the beginning. Now let's hear the story of the businessman who believed. One cold, dreary day, a businessman who was in deep debt was sitting on a bench in the park with his head down, fretting about what could save his company from bankruptcy. He was feeling anxious and desperate and couldn't figure a way out of it. There were insistent creditors pressing him and suppliers demanding payment. He felt much like the bits of stale bread currently being ravaged by a flock of hungry pigeons nearby. Suddenly, an old man appeared in front of him. I see that something is bothering you, he said. The businessman told the old man of his troubles. After listening to the businessman, the old man said, I think I can help you. He asked the businessman what his name was, wrote him a check, and said, Take this money. We will meet here exactly in one year, and you will be able to return it to me at that time. After that, the old man turned around and disappeared, 
just as suddenly as he had appeared. The businessman saw a check in his hands for the amount of $500,000, signed by Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world. I could end all of my problems in no time, he thought. But instead, the businessman decided to lock the check into his safe. Just the thought of its existence inspired in him the confidence and strength to find a solution to save his business. If Warren Buffett believes in me, then I know I can be a success. With the return of his optimism, he concluded profitable deals. Within a couple of months, he got out of debt and started to earn a great income again. Exactly one year later, he returned to the park with the same check. This new day was sunny and full of hope. At the agreed time, the old man appeared again. The businessman began to return the check and share his story of success. Suddenly, a frazzled woman dressed as a nurse ran up and grabbed the old man. I'm so glad I found you, she exclaimed. Turning to the businessman, she said, I hope he wasn't bothering you. He has dementia, you see. He always sneaks off from the house and tells people he's Warren Buffett. The businessman watched, bemused, as the nurse slowly guided the old man home again. During the whole past year, he had been hustling and building a business, buying and selling, because he was convinced that he had half a million dollars tucked away in his safe. Then he understood that it's not the money, real or imaginary, that turned his life around. It was his new confidence and belief that gave him the strength to achieve everything that he had now. And truly, that was worth a half a million dollars and then some. It's important to question your beliefs and decide if they're useful and serve you well or not. When you believe in yourself and put fear aside, you can accomplish great things. So what do you think? Do you believe that you can achieve the results that you desire most? What limiting beliefs are getting in your way? Can you change your limiting beliefs to become empowering beliefs instead? Sometimes we take a look at the past and we say, I can't do this thing. I can't achieve this goal because I've never done so in the past. Say, I've never made more than minimum wage. There's no way that I'll be able to make 30 or $50 an hour. There's no way I'll be able to make $100,000 a year when all I've ever made in the past is $30,000 a year. We can allow the past to hold us back and to set limits on us. Or we can say, I believe that I can make as much money as I choose to make. I have that kind of confidence and I know that I offer that kind of value into the world and I know that I'm worth it. So we have a choice when it comes to living in the past living in the present or living from the future and the things that we believe can guide us into a brighter and wealthier future if that's what we choose today's story is included in the booklet the e-booklet that you can find at esofterside.com uh, when you go there and look for this series of videos and ebooks. So please do take the time to visit there if you would like to get your own copy of The Businessman Who Believed and share it with some of your friends and family members. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you on the next Storytime Therapy video. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips 
exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.